those of you who are parents and make the topic of sex an intercourse a no-no subject in your house, your kids can't even talk about it, can't even watch it on TV, can't even experience it under your roof. And I want to just caution you to that choice because we are raising children who cannot talk to responsible adults about sex activity. So the only people they can talk to about sex activity are their peers or the television or their phone. Do you want their peers, the television? I don't, what you don't know, won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. Or the phone to be their introduction to sexual activity. That's your choice. But what I would like to encourage is you to just open the conversation. I talked to my six-year-old about having girlfriends. Hey, tell me about your girlfriend. What is that like? Da -da 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 -da. These are the introduction to relationship conversations, not the sex talk, relationship talk. Have the conversations with your children. Let your children know that a part of self-love is protecting yourself. There are thousands, maybe millions of teens and adults, definitely, but teens walking around right now with an STD, STI, HPV, or HIV and are completely unaware of it. Why? Because they can't admit to their parents that they're sexually active. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing up balloons because figuring out a garland. I will not stress myself out like this is something that I'm trying to perfect. I will not put that pressure on me. Relax. This is fun. Yes, I put tremendous pressure on myself to do anything that I put my mind to. And so I'm talking myself down off of that ledge. And the other day I was with some people. The question came up, would you like to know the future? It was at the sister circle. You know, some of us in the room said, you know, no, and some of us said yes. And though I would not like to know the future, because at present, life is so damn good. It's like, I don't want it to be spoiled. If you've never been in a space where you don't want to know the future, perhaps shit ain't in line for you yet. Because I'm not like everybody else. And I don't know about everybody else, but I don't feel like I'm like y'all. And if everybody else don't feel like they ain't like everybody else, then everybody else ain't like me. That made sense to the people it's supposed to make sense to. These pet owners in this house suck. The neglect is palpable. If neglect is manifesting, it's going to manifest, but it's just, it's got to look different, right? Most people will not admit that they have the spirit of neglect within them. Therefore, they can never get control of said spirit. It's too late at night for you to be throwing some lotion on your hands. Just go on, clean your whole body. Be a better example of a big brother. You still got some work to do there. But what is sorry? Words or actions? Actions. What's good, John Lani Appleton? And I want to introduce myself. Just in case you rely on those events and you're like, who the heck is this Lani chick? Each one of my events are healing centered. And that's what it's all about. It's about collective mindset. It's about collectively healing. It's about achieving those goals collectively that we have aspired to do since we've been here. You just forgot, sis. That desire within yourself for a community that just won't go away even though you're a loner is because we are each other's tribe. And that is the objective of each one of my events. We will be healing, we will have free-flowing conversation, and we are just gonna be riding the vibe. And those of you who like credentials, my master's degree is in education. So you know I could teach some shit. I am a life relationship and family coach. So you know I can coach some shit. I am a content creator, so you could check me out and vet me before you even get in the same room as me. And you can do a vibe check. I am a healthy family advocate where my platform is completely centered around the restoration and the healing of self family, community, and society as a whole. And together we gonna grow some sh**. So please check out LonnieLifestyle.com, connect with our upcoming events for Are we healing or no? We are here co-ed all the way except for our sister circles. So thank you for taking the time to get to know me and I really hope to get to know you at our events. Come check out a Lonnie Lifestyle event where it's all fun and games. Plus some healing. Maybe it's healing plus some fun. Cause we definitely healing. But we chilling too. I'm I triggered his breakdown because I need him to break down and disconnect but she's plugged in in so many different ways right the first time I had to break down to get him disconnected his parenting but when because when he came back from Jamaica boom that was the argument we were having at the time it was how he spoke to the children and he was like why do I need to explain myself to a kid I was like because now I know I didn't know then but now I know you're giving them instructions of how to live. You're teaching them 
ethics. You're teaching them a life philosophy. How does a child develop their life philosophy? By watching you and then putting their own language to what you're doing and their own interpretation of what you're doing? Or do you transfer your philosophy to your child and now your child has developed their life philosophy? Now they can filter your philosophy through their system and say, okay, now this is my life philosophy. So you have to be okay with your child not replicating you. But you have to understand if you give your child nothing, then they're definitely not going to have anything inside. It may look like you, but it's not going to be you because you did not transfer any life philosophy. So when he used to argue with me, why do I got to explain myself to a kid? Because you're transferring your life philosophy. This is why you don't do that. This is why you do do that. And watch the language that you use when you're doing a transfer. That's what Don West was doing. So the separation didn't have to be a vacation or a... a, a, a vacation away from the children so that he could re-see the children in a different light he had to see me in a different light because he started blaming me for his stress and saying that i'm the causality of all his problems when all in reality i'm just like do you think you should tell your kid they can't do that when they actually can there's other kids that do it do you want your kid to be the one with the limitation well no you can't say nothing right when you're putting a limitation on my child i'm gonna I'm check that every time because i want my kids to live limitless and if you guys think I need to let him be okay and don't catch every little thing, every little thing is planting a seed. I got to let some of them weeds grow. I got to let some of them grow. And so this separation, this tough love was me. I left the bedroom for 10 days. And in that 10 days, he had to deal with himself. Prior to that, he had went to uh, therapy at least once. And, you know, so Cat Williams was instrumental in our healing journey. So thank you, Cat, because Cat is speaking the language that I speak. But... Dre is receptive to Cat versus being receptive to me. So what you all may perceive as a failure is all by design. Now, I don't know why it is what it is. That's for all of us to see at the same time. But what I do know is it's for a purpose. You came to me and you said, okay, so let's love him back. No, 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 no. Hold the line. No, no. Let him reach rock bottom. 